Welcome to what, why and where series. This is Navin Reddy and in this series of tutorial we'll choose a topic, one topic in one episode and we'll talk about the introduction of that topic. We'll talk about what is that technology, why to use that technology and where to implement. Now if you see this tutorial it will help you to increase your knowledge. So you make sure you subscribe to the channel and watch the video. And today we'll talk about big data. Now what is big data? Just imagine this is huge amount of data. Now in, if you talk about the world, we have huge amount of data now and 90% of this data is generated in last two years. Just imagine, you know, if you, talk, if you talk about big data, we have three V's here. We have volume, we have velocity and we have variety. Now if you focus on these three things, just imagine the volume part. What is volume here? You know, you use Facebook, you use WhatsApp, you use YouTube. On YouTube, we upload 12 hours of YouTube footage every minute. Just imagine if this is terabytes of data in a second. You know, if you talk about 1992, 100 GB of data used to create it in one year. In one year, guys. The second one, 19, 1997, 100 GB of data used to be created in one day. And now if you talk about 2015 or 16, we generate approximately 50 or 40,000 gigabytes a second. Okay, that's the speed of data we are generating. So we are generating huge amount of data plus with the rapid speed. So we have huge volume, we have huge velocity or very fast velocity. The next thing is variety. Earlier we used to get a structured way of data. So let, let imagine your table structure. So you can access any data with the help of SQL. Now the problem is now we degenerate data which is not a structured one. We generate images, we generate videos. You know whenever you go to a, a, a picnic or a, maybe for a tour. Why we go for a tour? Why, to, why we enjoy all these places? Earlier we used to enjoy these places, now we go to that pl those places only to take pics. And we don't take one photo, we take thousands of photos for one trip. And each photo will cost you around 3 MB. So just imagine GBs of data is created for one trip. When you go to washroom, you take selfies. Each selfie, each selfie will take 3 MB. And you don't take one selfie, you take five selfies in one washroom. And one, if you wash your face, you will take five selfies, 15 MB at a time. And you don't upload that data at one place. You upload that data at multiple, multiple places like Facebook, WhatsApp, or maybe Instagram. You're generating 45 MB of data for one face wash. Just imagine in this world, we have 3 billion people using internet now. And if everyone started the same thing, we are generating some very, very huge amount of data. Approximately 2.5 quintillion bytes of data is generated every year. Now, if you don't know what is quintillion, it's simply uh, 1 and 18 zeros of bytes. Okay, it's very huge. Now, then question arises, how to process those huge amount of data? But you will say why to process those information. Once you got the information, save it somewhere. But hold on guys. Now we have these companies like we have uh, Xerox, we have IBM, we have Apple. We have all these companies and even if you talk about banks, they generate huge amount of data. For them, this data is not best things. For them, these are valuable resources. So they want to use this data. But then question arises, how will they process this data? because they want to take decisions depend upon this data. So we have to make sure as maybe software engineer or as the, uh, what do you say, data people, we need to process those data and we need to provide those stats. Now how to process those data we require a technology which can process that data. So we have big data here and we need to process that data with some tool and that tool now is Hadoop, okay? and to, we can use this Hadoop to work with those data. So earlier Google had its own uh, technology called as MapReduce and now MapReduce is now Hadoop from a different community. Now why Hadoop is so powerful is because you can run Hadoop on commodities hardware. So you can buy your own servers, you can have your own laptop to process those huge amount of data and that's why big data is so important. As per the, as per the survey in here Till the year 2018, we'll be getting approximately uh, lakhs of millions of job vacancies only for big data. It's a huge, it's huge in demand now. 
So what I will suggest if you are if you are searching for a technology where you want to master big data is one of the technology. Okay, so yeah, that's it from this uh, video. So you make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can watch the further series.